Mount Royal University is located in the traditional territories of the Natitsipi and the people of Treaty 7, which include the Sisika, the Pekani, the Kainai, the Sutina, and the Yarhe Nakoda. We are situated on land where the Bow River meets the Elwell River, and that the traditional Blackfoot name of this place is Mokinsis, which we now call the City of Calgary. The City of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation. Where these two rivers meet in Mokinsis has traditionally been used as a gathering place where different communities would come together for trade, but also for the sharing of knowledge. This is still similar to the purpose of university. Our goal is to bring people together from different backgrounds with diverse perspectives and views and to share our knowledge. Mount Royal University is committed to doing its part to address the legacy of broken promises and rebuild the relationships between Indigenous and non-Indigenous peoples in Calgary and across the country. Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Withy and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Science and Technology here at Mount Royal University. It's a great pleasure to extend a warm welcome to all of you, wherever you might be, to Open House 2021. Our two key programs in science and technology are a Bachelor of Science degree with majors in biology, chemistry, computer science, geology, general science, and environmental science, and a Bachelor of Computer Information Systems degree. All of these programs will provide you with a breadth, depth, and diversity of study. They'll allow you to respond to the interests and passions that bring you to Mount Royal, while also having the opportunity to embrace much which is unfamiliar. In science and technology, we aspire to be the first choice for students with a passion for inquiry and creativity. And as such, our focus will be you. We care deeply about the way we educate our students. You'll learn a lot about science and technologies programs in the next half an hour or so. And at the end of this session, we'll answer some of the questions we often hear from prospective students. I hope to see you on campus in the near future as a student in one of science and technologies degree programs. I'm Dorothy Hill, Chair of the Department of Biology at Mount Royal University. If you want to study biology, I hope you'll consider applying to the biology major at Mount Royal. When we designed the curriculum for this major, we made sure that it included most of the prerequisite courses for health professional schools, such as dentistry, veterinary medicine, physiotherapy, and medical school. We also made sure that our graduates met the academic requirements to become a biologist in training with the Alberta Society of Professional Biologists. Many of our senior courses include hands-on research experience, which can give you a leg up to graduate school if that's your chosen career pathway. We have three concentrations, cellular and molecular biology, anatomy and physiology, and ecology and evolution. But you don't need to do a concentration to complete our biology major. You can mix and match across those three disciplines. Best of all, like all of Mount Royal, we have small class sizes. Most of our third and fourth year classes are capped at 30 students or less, and that means that your professors have the opportunity to get to know you on a first name basis. No matter what you choose, I wish you all the best in the coming year, and thank you for considering Mount Royal University. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Lovallo. I'm the Chair of the Department of Chemistry and Physics here at Mount Royal University. I'd like to thank you very much for the opportunity to talk to you about the programs we offer here in the Department of Chemistry and Physics. Um, certainly our flagship program is the BSc in Chemistry and what makes it different from other majors that you might find either at Mount Royal or at other universities is threefold. One is sort of the split concentration structure. One is the uh, a number of in-person lab experiences you'll have. And the third is community service learning. And I like to cover all three in turn. So uh, first of all, the, the degree is split into sort of two concentrations. One is sort of the general chemistry concentration. One is the analytical biochemistry concentration. The general chemistry concentration is just that. It's a little more general. It's spread among all of the different areas of chemistry. There are five major areas of chemistry. There's biochemistry, the chemistry of life, organic chemistry, the chemistry of carbon. There's physical chemistry, which is sort of the, the theoretical mathematical underpinnings of all of chemistry. 
chemistry and physics, there's analytical chemistry, um, and there's inorganic chemistry, which is basically the chemistry of everything else. Um, and in the general chemistry stream, you'd sort of cover courses in all of those different areas, uh, complete with lab experiences in each of them. Whereas the other stream is a little bit more specialized. It's the analytical biochemistry stream. So that's sort of combining the areas of analytical chemistry and biochemistry. So using, you know, fancy expensive machines like the one behind me here uh, to sort of investigate biological systems. Um, you'll still be taking courses from other areas of chemistry, both as breadth requirements and also because you often need that sort of theoretical underpinning to explain, you know, how does the machine work? Uh, how do the biological systems work? But it's a little bit more specialized in that area. Um, secondly, it would be the, just sort of the number of hands-on experiences. So uh, during your chemistry degree, you'd be taking probably a minimum of 15 different lab courses. Um, so you'll get hands-on experience in physics, in chemistry, in all the different subdisciplines of chemistry. You'll be taking one lab in each of those, at least one lab in each of those five subdisciplines. So you're going to get a lot of uh, hands-on experience to help you become better, a better experimental chemist and better understand the material that you're actually learning. And then some of that lab experience comes in what we call community service learning. And so there are three community service learning courses uh, that all uh, chemistry students would take. And so with those three courses, you would get a community service learning designation, which would appear on your permanent transcript. And what community service learning is, is basically applying your knowledge to real world situations with a community partner. Um, so you'd be working with a community partner, that could be a school, that could be a non-government organization, a charity, a business, whatever, um, and applying your chemistry knowledge to help them with certain types of problems. So that could involve trying to figure out new, new uses for waste. That could involve uh, the quality of drinking water testing in schools. Uh, projects like that, uh, they change periodically and depending on the course. Um, but that will give you a good opportunity to not only learn chemistry, but also apply that chemistry out into the real world. Um, and then finally, uh, if all of that hasn't yet convinced you that you want to be a, a major in chemistry, and I honestly can't understand why, we offer other programs as well. You know, if you're in the BSc General Science program, we offer a chemistry concentration that allows you to take a number of courses and work with it that way. We also offer minors in both chemistry and physics. So there's a lot of different programs for you. So if you ever un wanted to understand how science worked, what are the underpinnings of biology, how does the universe work, then the Department of Chemistry and Physics is for you. If none of those programs interest you, we also offer all of our courses courses, of course, to all students and all other majors. So if you're in geology, you're in environmental science, you're interested in learning a bit more about chemistry, those courses are all open to you whenever you want. So thank you very much for your time and have a nice day. Hi, my name is Gwen O'Sullivan and I'm the chair of the Department of Earth and Environmental Science. Thank you for your interest in our environmental science degree. Um, hopefully I'll be able to provide you some information that will help you to make a decision on, on your on joining MRU uh, for the environmental science program. Um, our environmental science program is a fantastic program. Um, you will learn a lot about the chemical, physical and biological processes that occur in the environment. And then using that knowledge and skill, you'll start to explore some of the solutions to, the, to, to current environmental problems. Uh, some of the features of our program include our small class sizes um, and our student-centered learning environment. We have some really passionate um, professors um, who are uh, really knowledgeable in their subject area, um, but also really care deeply about helping our students progress in their journey to completion of, of their degree. Um, by the end of the degree, you'll know your professors by first names, and um, it, it's, just a, it's just a really great learning environment to, to be in. Um, you'll also get great opportunities to um, engage with applied learning and whether that's in the lab, the field. Um, and so most of the courses that we have have laboratory components. Um, so you could be learning how to, to complete soil sampling, water sampling, air sampling, um, looking at um, ecological samples. Um, and so um, you get a lot, to, a lot of hands on experience with um, some of the latest technologies and then take that information and knowledge into the field. And so 
you could do we have a variety of field courses that include things like soil testing or soil pits um, we do electrofishing uh, groundwater sampling air sampling and so you'll get a great hands-on experience within within your degree there's really also a great opportunity um, through our work experiences program and so there are two in your degree there are two um, four-month work placements um, we assist you to um, apply for these um, through our career services. So we'll help you with uh, CV generation, interview practice, networking opportunities, and then through our jobs board, we'll help you support support you and um, gaining uh, employment for four months um, between your second and third year and your third and fourth year. Um, we've had some really successful placements in a variety of um, working environments, you know, the city of Calgary, um, you know, oil and gas, um, consultancy, um, ecological, chemical, like a, a, lot, a lot of locations. So there's a great opportunity for you to try one one field of, 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 the, of the study and then in your second experience, try another one so that you get a good feeling for what you want to do once you've completed your degree. They also give you a foot in the door um, because you'll be networking um, through these work experiences. So makes it a little easier to secure employment following um, your degree completion. Um, you also have a great opportunity in the program as well to engage with research. Our professors are uh, well funded um, and have very active research programs and so there's an opportunity to get involved with projects um, that are on peatland or wetland restor restoration, uh, soil health, um, reclamation remediation, wildfire forensics, environmental forensics, life cycle assessment. Um, our professors um, generally hire students in the summer to help them with their research. Um, and so there's a great opportunity to, to do some research we can help, which, help, which can help you prepare you for graduate school as well, if that's what you're interested in. Um, also, and one of the, the, I guess, really good benefits of the program as well is that um, the Alberta Institute, Institute of Agrologists um, has pre-approved the program. Um, so this means that once you've completed the program, um, you'll be eligible to apply um, to become an, an agrologist in training um, with the Alberta Institute, Institute of Agrologists. And this is important um, when you're working in the industry because you'll require professional designation to be able to sign off on reports. And this can help with making a bump in your um, starting salary as well. Um, that's the information I have at the moment, but um, we look forward to hearing from you. If you have any questions, you can feel free to connect with us and uh, we look forward to seeing you um, hopefully next year. Take care. Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Pollack, Geology Professor at Mount Royal University. The Geology Program at Mount Royal prepares our students to solve important issues in society, including energy sources and sustainability, climate change, the impacts of human development on the environment, water management, mineral resources, and natural hazards. The geology program at Mount Royal features small class sizes and learning in an applied, practical, hands-on environment. Our program develops the in-demand critical thinking and problem-solving skills that most employers seek. Our pro program includes numerous research opportunities in the laboratory or in the field. Upon Completion of our program, our graduates are eligible to register as professional licensed geoscientists. We have a history of very successful graduates who are employed throughout our diverse industries and academia in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and throughout the world. Geologists are caretakers of Earth's resources and environment. We work to understand natural processes on Earth and also on other planets. There is a large growing demand for geologists as the number of trained professionals is quite small compared to the problems that are solved by them. You might consider studying geology if you are one of the people who are fascinated by the earth and the natural environment. Hi, my name is Melanie Rathburn and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the Bachelor of Science in General Science. The General Science program is a unique program where you basically get to create your own custom science degree. This is perfect for those of you who have diverse interests across multiple different science disciplines, and you don't really want to specialize in one particular field. If we look around the world today, many of our problems require solutions that need expertise across multiple scientific disciplines. And that's what the General Science degree prepares you for. To create this interdisciplinarity, you're going to take some courses in mathematics and computer science, along with creating expertise in two specific fields of study. So we call these concentrations. 
So within this degree, you can specialize through a concentration in biology, chemistry, geography, geology, mathematics, or physics. Another reason to apply for the Bachelor of Science in General Science is if you have a particular interest in geography, math, or physics. We don't offer degrees in these disciplines, but if you have interest in these subjects, you can pursue them through a general science degree. In addition to the courses in your concentration, you also take courses that we call general science options. These are courses across the different science departments that you're gonna have access to. So let's say, for example, you're interested in doing concentrations in chemistry and geology. You still have the ability to pick up some courses in geography and biology through using these general science options. So this is why you get to kind of create your own custom degree. One of the major advantages of the general science program is you're guaranteed a research experience. In the final year of your program, you're gonna take two courses that we call capstone courses. In these courses, they're gonna kind of cap off your degree. You're gonna take all the knowledge that you've learned throughout your various different courses and pull them all together to address a real world problem. The first course is what we call our seminar course. This is where you're gonna engage with the literature and you're gonna be investigating what are the new scientific advances and approaches that are currently being used. So very contemporary look and very current looking at the latest scientific research. Then in the second course, which we call the project course, you're gonna apply your knowledge from that seminar course and from your entire degree to address that particular problem. You are gonna be guided by faculty members who are gonna be there to help you and support you through these projects, but you get to decide on the problem, how you're gonna approach it and how you might solve it. So this year, all of the students are doing projects related to the UN Sustainable Development Goals. So you can see the advantages of working with other students who are gonna each come and address a problem with their own disciplinary lens that they're gonna bring into the group. One of my former students described the general science program as a choose your own adventure degree. She loved this program because you get to sample courses from various different scientific disciplines to help you discover what you love. What's your passion? What subjects are you really good at? And from there, you get to specialize in those concentrations. So you can explore all your diverse interests and then specialize so you get both that depth and that breadth that, you're, that you get from a general science program and that you'll get from any university degree. So I hope I've given you a bit of information about the general science program and I hope you can see what a wonderful program this is and I look forward to seeing you at Mount Royal in the near future. So we commonly get asked a number of questions at open house when we meet with students in person. So we thought it'd be a good opportunity to ask some of the chairs of the departments those questions that we normally get asked. So Chris, how do these degrees prepare you for careers in the workforce? So one advantage we have of the science degrees is that they are fairly large. You have a lot of required courses and many of those will involve uh, hands-on skills. So you'll often, you'll have lots of opportunities to practice your communication skills, your teamwork, your practical lab skills, problem solving, as well as our smaller class sizes allow us to do certain things that you may not see at larger universities. For example, labs where you get to decide what kind of lab you want to do yourself. Um, and you'll develop lots of useful skills for the workforce, not only in terms of what they so-called so softer skills, problem solving, writing, those sort of things, but also more hands-on practical skills that are very important for uh, students going on to their careers. Great, thank you. And so what type of opportunities are there for research? So Gwen, would you like to kind of address that question? Yes, um, yeah, there's some great opportunities at Mount Royal for research. Um, while we're an undergraduate university, um, we have very successful researchers and faculty that are well-funded and have some great um, research programs in place um, at, uh, at Mount Royal. Um, and so a lot of that is that um, opportunities um, will arise um, with uh, connecting with your academics and being hired as research assistants and getting involved in projects, both in your coursework, but also in your um, time outside coursework. Um, and so there's a, there's a real opportunity to prepare and develop skills that are necessary for graduate school, but also to help prepare you for um, skills for, for work after, after graduation as well. Great. Thank you very much for that. 
So Dorothy, a lot of students will have read about general education and how that makes up part of the degree. Can you explain a little bit what is general education? Of course, Melanie. So general education is where we add breadth to your degree. Your major is your specialty. So that's actually, that's adding depth and you really dive deep into your subject. You might also do a minor, which is like a subspecialty, but general education adds breadth to your degree. And we have four different clusters. Uh, you have to take a foundation level course in each of the four clusters. And then you take another six courses, uh, three at tier two, uh, everyone except for the science and uh, math literacy uh, cluster. And then you can take three at the tier three of any choice that, uh, that you want. Uh, one of our science students a couple of years ago mentioned that when he first started at Mount Royal, he was a little bit uh, skeptical about the, the advantage of this general education. He didn't know why he had to take some of these gen ed courses when he was majoring in general science. But one of the general education courses he took was actually art history. And lo and behold, that following summer, he was in a job interview and the interviewee had a painting on the wall and he recognized the era of where that painting was because of the art history course and he actually nailed the the interview and got the job because he knew what the art was more so than than saying I'm in general science so it can be a real advantage to students to be able to talk to people across many different disciplines mm -hmm. that's great thank you very much for that and so I want to talk a little bit about the resources that are there to support students. We talk about how we're student centered and we focus on students. So I'm wondering if Gwen, if you want to talk a little bit about some of the resources that we have that can help um, foster student success. Yes, thanks, Melanie. Um, there are kind of two main areas um, of student support. There's the academic side and then there's the health side. And so for the academic side, we're really fortunate to have some great um, uh, programs available. Um, first, we have advising. Advising can occur at the university level, um, so general advising. But in the Faculty of Science, we have some fantastic sci tech advisors who can help you uh, navigate your program, figure out the right order to take courses, and just generally support you in your degree completion. You will also have program coordinators for your chosen degree who can really help you um, understand the, the correct order for taking things in and help you succeed if you're having any challenges within your program as well. We have other resources like students uh, learning services that can help with workshops and time management, writing skills, those kind of things. Amazing resources at the library as well, which can help with your academic path. And then we also have a programs for peer tutoring where you can learn from students that are in a similar degree to you at a later stage and they can help you support, support you through your, your program as well. Um, we also have the, the health side of it as well. So on campus, we have um, uh, a wellness support. Um, and so that can take shape in the form of counseling. It can take shape uh, with um, courses and workshops. Um, and then we've got a lot of mental health initiatives as well, because that's a really important component um, for all of us, especially these days. And so there's some great initiatives involved in that as well. So really you're supported well in your academic endeavors, but also in your personal well-being as you progress through your degree. Great, thank you very much. And probably kind of the, the final question, what are the advantages of coming to MRU versus going elsewhere? Why, why do students want to come to MRU? So Dorothy, do you want to take a, take a shot at answering that one? Oh, I think the biggest advantage of MRU is our small class sizes. So most of our third and fourth year classes are actually capped at 30 students or less. And in some cases, that's even smaller than a high school classroom is. And the advantage of that is, first of all, you can do much more in-depth uh, projects in your third and fourth year courses, but your professors know you by first name, and that's very handy if you are going to be needing a reference uh, letter from them. They actually know who you are and have a connection to you. Another advantage is that you get to know the other students really well, so you feel connected to the school. There's peer-to-peer mentorship and, and learning that goes on. Um, and that can be a real advantage. And you, you feel like you're part of something when you're in that small class size and you get to know other people. So I would say that's the big MRU advantage is our small class sizes. Great, thank you very much. I thank you all for answering these questions. These are kind of the common questions we get. And I think it's really helpful to be able to provide some answers for these prospective students.
So with that, hopefully you you're ready to apply. If you continue watching, you'll see some links on where you can go ask more questions and how to apply as well. So thank you very much.